guys, how it going? This is here Spark. We're back here in Elite Dangerous on another build guide. Right now I'm here in Glen Enterprise and Navert, uh, my other home system. And right now in a Vulture, uh, a very interesting ship that I kind of have mixed feelings about and somewhat like. Uh, the Vulture is, let's see if we can get a bit of details. The Vulture is a space superiority fighter, sacrifices hardpoint flexibility for maneuverability, advanced machinery tech techniques have allowed the Vulture to integrate large hardpoints into a relatively small frame, offsetting the ship's limit weapon count. The Vulture excels in a role of heavy fighter strike missions against larger, well-defended targets, but its nimble flight characteristics make it equally devastating against smaller targets. A limited cargo pass Limit cargo and passenger capability has not supported it coming preferred personal transport for those who like project of certain attitude as their dealings. Yep guys, this is a small ship. Even though it feels like a enormous ass ship. It feels like I'm freaking in an asp. Even though an asp actually feels smaller than this thing. Um, I really hope to actually get my asp into maybe a more suitable role. I'm hoping that they will eventually come out with a Vulture Mark II that kind of has a little bit more flexible hard points, maybe a lot of smalls or a medium and some smalls. Um, I do like the ship and I kind of just, there's things about it that I don't like and I will go over it and there's things I do like about it and I will also cover that. Uh, right now we're going to outfitting. My two hard points are 3E burst laters. These are gimbaled versions. Uh, they work very well to take down shields. Uh, I do wish I could use beam, but as I will go further into it, the reason why I cannot. Uh, yeah. They're good. They're very good for this ship, and they work, and they don't have to worry about going back for ammo. It just takes a little bit longer to kill them. For utility mounts, I sadly have to use three chaff launchers and one shield booster uh, and that's also come down to another reason that I will go over here soon for the core internals I go with the military grade composite armor just because it's an overall round protection and it does help the ship a lot once it gets its shields taken down which is very rare even though I would prefer the shields to not go down as fast as I would hope but that comes down to the power plant the power plant is a 4a this ship uh, doesn't do well with a 4A. It is very limited on power, and this is even upgraded 4A. It's the tier 1, and I don't r know quite right off the bat if you actually can go up in tiers for power plant upgradeability. But it's still rough to use, and it's still very thin on power. But yeah, it does get a meaty uh, thruster 5A. This is a very maneuverable ship, I will agree. This ship can be thrown around so ridiculous, it's unreal. And I'm going with uh, 4E and 3 or 4E frame shift drive and a 3E life support just to save on power. I'm not even worried about the weight. I'm more worried about the power and also a 4E sensor. My power distribute is 5A. It does recharge the modulars quickly, even though it only does hold a 4A power plant or a class 4 slot. And another problem with this ship, it only holds eight tons of fuel even though this ship is ginormous and it can probably hold it. I don't know why they limit it to 8. I wish they would at least give it 12, maybe 16. Um, I would be very curious if I could actually even turn this into an exploring ship, but I doubt it just because uh, the size. Uh, as far as optional internals, it does come with a nice shield generation 5A. This is the best for the uh, small ships, I think. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it's the best. I'm also running a 4B shield cell banks because I have more quantity, and it's very close to a 4A shield cell banks uh, as far as quality. But yeah, and then the rest is just haul reinforcement packages, which uh, work very little to help the ship, but it's a little bit to help it, and that's really all that matters. And uh, yeah. Uh, as I said guys, my biggest problem with the ship it is does only have 4A uh, power plant and uh, is making it very hard to the fact that I cannot use all shield 
boosters, which I guess is maybe a balancing reason where the ship might be OP, but even OP, it still only comes with two guns. I mean, the guns are good, but the ship by itself can somewhat struggle at times, and it's kind of bad for the reasons why. Uh, I kind of like it, but I don't like it enough to keep it as a personal. I think a Cobra or Viper could outdo this ship personally, but that's just me. Um, if you guys did like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. It does help the channel, and it helps you see more content in the future. And uh, please tell me down below what your uh, Vulture uh, build is or what you guys think of mine. I would like to hear it, and I'm very interested to see maybe if I could get some uh, feedback in the... Uh, some help with mine maybe and until then guys I will catch you on the next one see y'all